Hey guys, I am so excited to make these freezer meals. This is a pre-recorded class, so if you want the freebie with all of the recipes, the shopping list, the labels, click the link in the description below and I'll send it to you via email. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. I am Kelly from The Family Freezer and I am so excited to show you how to make 12 healthy freezer meals from ingredients at Sam's Club. I went to Sam's Club and bought the best of the best ingredients and figured out how to make them into 12 delicious meals that you are going to love. Are you excited? This is your freebie. So where are my planners out there? <laughs> this is for you. Check your email after class because I'm going to send this to you completely free. Has every recipe that I'm going to make during class, a full shopping list organized by aisle or section at the grocery store, and labels. So you can either print them on stickers and attach them to your bags, or you could print them on regular computer paper, tape them onto your bags, or even just write with a Sharpie marker. That's totally fine. But it is all in your freebie. No need to stress about writing down the cooking instructions or ingredients or anything else during this class. Let me do the work. You sit and relax <laughs> and check your email. Like I said, I'm going to send this out. I promise it's there. If you can't find it, check your spam because it will go out after class. I know a lot of people who are joining me today are already members of my site, Freezer Meal Pro. Hey guys, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for like continuing to come and watch me make these meals. <laughs> If you haven't joined yet, I am going to share a discount for you to join if you want to at the end because I know you're going to be obsessed with this method of freezer cooking. I'm really excited to share it with you today. Now, let's go ahead and just jump right in, right? Okay. And I want to show you meal number one, which is Tex-Mex beef and cabbage. This is a delicious meal. I love it. It's so good. These are all recipes that I've written myself. They are tried and true. They have been featured on my membership site or on my blog, in my cookbooks. None of these are like testers. I would never do that to you in a class. And I'm just going to fill them in an assembly line. So I am making three bags of Tex-Mex beef and cabbage. And here's why I'm doing that. To take advantage of these ingredients from Sam's Club. So the first thing we're doing is adding coleslaw. So I'm having you buy a big bag of coleslaw, but instead of using part of this in a recipe and then being left with a bunch of other coleslaw mix that you don't know what you're going to do with, or maybe you would just make some coleslaw, that would be fine. But you can make three delicious dinners with it and they go in your freezer for up to three months. So if I were you, what I would do, what I'm going to do <laughs> with these meals is I'm probably going to make one of them very soon, like within the next week. And then over the next three months, I'll make the other two. So you could wait a whole month or more to eat this meal again. It's still going to be delicious. I'm just eyeballing this. It's about three big handfuls per freezer bag, but um, it does not have to be exact. Like I don't want you to stress ever when making my recipes. I want you to relax. I want it to be a really enjoyable experience when you're making the meals and then later when you're cooking and eating them. So I'm just finishing up this bag of coleslaw mix. This is our fresh cabbage, all those veggies and those carrots, purple cabbage, green cabbage, it's all going in your meal. Then I am going to add black beans. So I have a can of black beans for each freezer bag. These are already drained and rinsed. So I'm just going to add those in. I did that ahead of time just so I wouldn't have to mess with opening the cans because I have a lot of stories and tips to share with you and I don't want to turn my back to you. Go to the sink. Okay, three cans already from Sam's Club. See ya. Let's do diced tomatoes. <clears throat> okay, now everything I am sharing with you today is going to be delicious. Like these are home run recipes. I know you're going to love them. Um, I have been making freezer meals now for nine years. <laughs> that seems like a really long time. <laughs> but so I started um, nine years ago when I had two young children. My oldest daughter was two. My second daughter was a baby. And I just remember at the time I was feeling like really overwhelmed. I was like working, trying to take care of my daughters, trying to keep our house semi-clean 
trying to do laundry and it like felt like there was no time for the things that I really wanted to be doing and I'm good at organizing and I thought like what if I organized our dinners like could I plan ahead and then cross that off my plate and so I'm really good at organizing and I just thought I make a lot of recipes for my crock pot that are raw like I just combine the ingredients in my crock pot raw and turn it on what if I put those ingredients in a freezer bag raw and then later cook them in my crock pot and it was like like mind-blowing I mean really a game changer so that weekend I picked five recipes I went that weekend I bought the ingredients I prepped five meals in 45 minutes and then that next week we ate all five and it like literally changed my life because I had that extra let's say hour at dinner time when I didn't have to cook and I could you know take my daughters up to the park I could spend time with my husband just talking about his day I could go and visit my grandparents because there wasn't always time for that or go for a walk go for a run it just was like the world opened up to me <laughs> um, just by having that extra time and I can tell you that today even nine years later and now we have five kids <laughs> I mean life doesn't get easier right um, it still just try, it feels like you're trying to fit everything in and I can use a shortcut where I can and these meals work They're not a quick fix Maybe you've tried other ways to like simplify your life or to like eat healthier to save money Like I understand I'm always trying to do those things. I'm always trying to save more money Like we spend a lot of money at the grocery store. We have five kids, <laughs> you know, they eat a lot of food But this is the only thing that works consistently over time and that's why I get so excited about teaching other people about this method of freezer cooking because it works and the people who are here today are my members like they will tell you it seriously works it's like a game changer so right now you see that I am just like cutting up this fresh corn when I went to Sam's Club so since I've been making these meals for nine years I have a lot of experience with writing recipes. I know a lot of recipes. I have written, I've probably written like thousands of recipes over the years or made that many meals at least. I have over 20 cookbooks now. It all started, so once the, uh, these meals were working for me, I started sharing them on my blog, The Family Freezer. And what I found out is like everyone else wanted these too. Everyone else was like short on time like me. They needed help. And they were like, give me more recipes. And I was like, really? You don't want me to like tell you more about mothering and all this work-life balance stuff? Because really, <laughs> the random thing is, I don't have a background in cooking. I actually went to school for psychology. I have a master's and a PhD in psychology that I don't use, <laughs> I don't use anymore. <laughs> Besides maybe like trying to stay sane. And I was like, really? You don't want any of my tips and stuff? And they're like, no, no, give me those recipes. <laughs> so that's... um. It really changed changed my life like I said not only made my life easier but uh, it like took my life in a new direction so I started sharing these recipes on my blog um, it led to writing 20 cookbooks we have sold like over a million dollars in cookbook sales this became a full-time job for me and my husband we now have this membership site freezing meal pro wildly successful like beyond our dreams we have over 20,000 members now so it's just like so Amazing and I could just say like I'm filled with gratitude. Thank you Like thank you to our members and thank you to our people who maybe just found me today and took a chance and signed up for a class and joined me because I Feel really confident. This is gonna work for you and I'm excited now. I added that fresh corn I on the recipe. I have one cup of corn That's what I would do if I was using frozen corn But when I went to Sam's Club and saw these ears of corn, I thought I'm using that in a meal. <laughs> I will pick a recipe or write a recipe that uses corn. So what I'm doing in this group of three, I used half of it. So the package that I bought had eight ears of corn. So I took four of them, you just watched me, I cut off the corn, I put it into the bags. I first put one, so it's like one and a third in each bag. You can eyeball it, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can use frozen if you want. But if you go to Sam's Club or even if your other grocery store has corn right now, it's really good. I would just use fresh, right? All right. Oh, you're going to see me throughout class. This is my freezer cooking apron. I'm going to hold it up so you can see. It has a towel attached. Unfortunately, I'm not tall enough. I'm about five foot five. <laughs> I need to be about five foot ten 
for you to see this thing. But my mom made this for me. We have made so many freezer meals over the years. We have made like groups of 10, 28. I think we made 40 when I was pregnant once. And she saw me using all these paper towels, all these like um, trying to find a dish towel for my hands and making a huge mess. And she was like, why don't I just sew a towel onto an apron? Like, I will make it for you, which she did. And then so many other people loved it. She started selling them on Etsy. So if you want one of these, you can buy one on Etsy. She's only one person. If you're watching this, like, right now, I would buy it today because she definitely will sell out. But she loves to sew. I'm sure she'll make more in the future. Uh, no pressure, but these are really great for making freezer meals. All right, I want to finish this meal for you because I need to add the seasonings. And that really sets this meal apart because there's so many good seasonings. I already measured them, but let me tell you, it's two tablespoons of chili powder, a tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of cumin, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, and one teaspoon of salt. <laughs> That's a lot. There's a lot of seasonings in here. I mean, it's probably, I would say almost half, half a cup, maybe at least a third of a cup. And it's going to make it so flavorful. Like, you're going to love this. This is probably my favorite recipe that I'm going to prep for you today. It's so good. Okay, this meal is totally done. And I'm going to wait and add the meat at the end. But I want to tell you, this is a recipe from my membership site. And Brenda left a really good comment on it. She said, oh, my heart, we had this tonight. And I already put it on next week's meal plan. My husband is a Texan through and through. And he loved the spices. The perfect blend and the texture and flavor that the cabbage added. Amazing. Thanks the Family Freezer for another great recipe. So thank you, Brenda, for sharing that. And I just wanted to share that with you so that you know, it's not just me being like, yeah, this is so good. <laughs> There's other people trying and testing these recipes too. Let's move on to our second recipe, our second group of three. I'm just gonna move these out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to interrupt myself for one minute to tell you about our Family Freezer VIP site. If you're ready to change your life with my style of freezer meals that can be frozen raw, a membership to our VIP site will be your best friend. I see VIP as the most expansive collection of easy and healthy freezer recipes online and the tools you need to actually make them work in your life. With VIP, you can filter all of my healthy freezer recipes based on protein, keyword, cooking method, diet, and more. You can even combine filters to drill down on the exact type of meals that you want to make. These are delicious meals that are, you are going to love sharing with your family and friends. You can auto-generate shopping lists that you can print or save to access later on your phone. One of my favorite features of VIP is a full class library with videos of all of the cooking classes that I've taught over the past three years that you can watch on demand and download the freebies. I honestly think everyone can benefit from freezer meals, whether you're making them every week, every month, or even every few months. We have tens of thousands of members worldwide, and if you want to join us, just go to thefamilyfreezer.com slash VIP and enter this coupon code to save 20% off the sign-up fee. Our second meal is a sweet and sour barbecue chicken. Yum. So good. This recipe is so versatile. So I decided to make it because of ground chicken at Sam's Club that looks so good, but you could make this with chicken breasts, you could do meatballs, salmon. I saw some really good salmon at Sam's Club. If you like seafood, I would do salmon in this. That's written on your recipe. Lots of options for you. Now, what you need to add is an onion. The only thing I'm using today that I didn't buy at Sam's Club is a bag of frozen diced onions. I got this at my local grocery store for $1. It's so quick and easy because all I'm going to do is add one cup to each bag. So instead of chopping onions and like crying, and I was, I was a little hesitant to buy like a 10 pound bag at Sam's Club and have all that left over. That's really just not ideal. When I was imagining these meals, I wanted to make, like use all the ingredients. I was dreaming up recipes that would complement each other so that you wouldn't end up with like, veggies that go to waste or canned goods that are still in your pantry like a year later. <laughs> so 
really wanted to use everything and decided to use these diced onions, $1 a bag, look at your local grocery store or fine, go ahead and buy onions, dice them up. You do you. Okay, now we need a green pepper for each bag. And I already diced them. So let me show you. All I did was I took my three green peppers because they give me one pepper in each bag and I diced them to save time. I'm kind of balancing saving time while I'm making these and sharing the very best tips that I can with you. And I'll show you the bag that these came in just so that if you go to Sam's Club to buy these ingredients, you'll know exactly what you're looking for. But these peppers look so good. When I was making these, I think I started to tell you, I went into Sam's Club and I was like, what looks so good? And I started in the produce section and picked the best produce, including peppers and the corn and some pineapple I'll show you. And then I went to the meat section and was looking at what meat looked really good. And then I considered healthy or canned goods, so like canned beans, diced tomatoes. I was really looking at like what are the best, healthiest, most delicious items at Sam's Club. And with my like knowledge of freezer recipes with the number of recipes I've written in the past and my ability to kind of like write a new recipe if needed. What can I create? And that's how I came up with these meals. So this is this is what the bags of peppers look like. This was a bag of six. I already took three out. I already diced them for another meal. But these are what they look like. And instead of using this recipe, I have one red pepper. I'm gonna do a mix. I'm gonna show you how it works. Really simple but I'm just gonna dice these. I already washed these. <laughs> I actually washed them and then I put them back in the bag just so I could show you what it looked like. Yes, I'm, I'm a little bit crazy. <laughs> you already know me if you've come to my other classes. You already know that, right? That's why you love me and why you come again and again. All right, so all I'm gonna do is dice these peppers and then I'll split them between the bags so that each bag gets a little bit of red pepper, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange. Just kind of mix it up and really get all those colors of the rainbow. And then, yeah, it's so good. So like I said, I'm using ground chicken in this meal. It's a sweet and sour barbecue chicken. Really flavorful, very family friendly. This is a recipe that everyone likes. We've made it so many times over the years. I'm gonna dice this up. Now this recipe also calls for fresh pineapple. And I recommend using fresh. I saw uh, this fresh pineapple at Sam's Club and I could not resist. Like I put it in my cart and then I was walking around coming up with which recipes I was going to make. And I thought, no, no, I put it back. <laughs> and then I went back and got it. It was like, there has to be a recipe I can make with pineapple. It looked so good. And I ended up using fresh pineapple. And I've had, you can use canned pineapple if you want, although, I have heard some people say they think that the fresh tastes better than canned. So if you have the ability to buy the fresh, I would recommend it. I know some people don't love pineapple, like chunks of pineapple. I've had some people ask me in the past, can I just use juice, which you could. What I was thinking is if the pineapple chunks are big, instead of trying to make them like teeny tiny, what if they were big and you just like ate around them? That's like probably what my kids would do. <laughs> they would probably just like eat around the big chunks, which is what I would recommend to still get like the full pineapple taste because you're going to get that sweetness. Oh, it's so good. I feel like the combination of sweet from the pineapple, a little spicy from the barbecue. It's just a really fun twist on like sweet and sour that is um, very fun, family friendly. And I know, okay, so let's just address this. Crock-Pot recipes get a bad rap. I mean, like, do you think they're bland? Do you have a significant other, a spouse, someone who's saying they're all mushy, they all taste the same, oh my gosh. My daughter told me, my oldest daughter, she said that a boy in her class said, when I come home from school and there's something <laughs> cooking in the crock pot, I go to my room and cry <laughs> because he's like so sad, I guess, that he has to eat crock pot, <laughs> a crock pot recipe for dinner. And my daughter said she raised her hand and she's like, um, <laughs> my mom has a crock pot business. <laughs> 
<laughs> but anyway, when she was telling me, she said, she's like, I'm so glad you make good grog bar recipes. So my point being that there's a lot of bad crock pot recipes out there. There's a lot that's like only soup or only pot roast. And I love, I love pot roast. I love chili. I mean, I make those recipes, but I want to tell you too, there's a lot of variety for your crock pot. These can be in your crock pot, in your instant pot. I have some oven and stove top. I really wanted to mix it up for you today, but give you so much variety. So this is a barbecue sweet and sour recipe. The first one that I made was that Tex-Mex beef and cabbage. So that's more on like the Mexican side of flavor and seasonings. And then I'm going to make an Italian meal. So that was something else I was thinking about with this group of meals. You could eat these like right in a row because there's such a variety in the tastes and the textures and the flavors. So many options. And you can do that with the side dishes too. Okay, we have our peppers. I just kind of mix them between the bags. We need our pineapple. And this was that container. Now these were just stalks of pineapple. I would guess, so this was two and a half pounds. I'm gonna split it between the bags. I would guess this is at least two pineapples, like maybe two to three whole pineapples. You could use a whole pineapple easily in each one of these and that would be fine. But I did cut this ahead of time just because I knew I was gonna wanna tell you some stories and oh, I have some people Oh, I get so many emails, like, thank you. If you have emailed me before, if you have messaged me on Facebook, on Instagram, thank you so much. You are the best. I appreciate you so much because, oh, I just hear the best stories about people who have made these freeze meals. It's like changed their life. It's, they've been able to help other people share them. It inspires me so much and just makes me want to like keep creating, keep sharing. And I, I printed a couple that I could read to you today just to show that, okay, yeah, I run a, a crock pot freezer meal business. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna tell you these are great. Obviously they are, <laughs> but the other people are saying they're really good too and they're working for them. All right, all I need left in this meal is the barbecue sauce. And I know you're gonna say, what did you use? Here you go. I bought the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Now I've made this recipe many, many times over the years. I have used other brands of barbecue sauce, but this was my favorite at Sam's Club and it was a two pack and I'm gonna use about a half a bottle per recipe. The recipe is 18 ounces. This is 40, so about half. So I'm just gonna use, I'm, again, I am just eyeballing this. I promise you, this is gonna be delicious. When I was testing these recipes, I, so I had three bags of each, just like I'm making for you today. I gave one of each to my parents to taste test. And this was actually the first one they tried. They made it like the next day and they're like, so good, like loved it. Um, so I feel like I'm really bringing, bringing it with the recipes today. I'm making recipes that I've made in the past that I love that have been featured on my membership site that have been taste tested by my parents. I mean, <laughs> not that my parents are harsh critics. I feel like my kids are probably the, the hardest critics. But they love this. Not only with like the ground chicken, but I've made it with meatballs. Even my nine-year-old daughter will eat this with meatballs. Really good recipe. Okay, that looks like about half this bottle. So I'll save this. This is like what we're having left over today. And that's no big deal. We'll eat barbecue sauce. Um, okay, I told you I promised you a couple stories. Let's read Kayla's. We are having to live in a hotel for two to three weeks. I did your online class and bought the membership. It has saved us. We still have access to our deep freezer in our garage. So I just go grab one the night before and thaw in our mini fridge in the hotel. Throw it in the crock pot that morning and we have dinner ready that night. Thank you. Love this. Awesome, Kayla. I'm so thrilled for you. I love that it's working for you in a hotel. Like these would be great to even take on vacation. I was thinking my next door neighbor is having their kitchen redone. And I was like, how great would it be to give them a meal? And when you have three of each, you're like a little more willing to share. <laughs> so I love that. Okay, and Jan messaged me. I've been following you for three months. I have made 80 freezer meals. Jan, 40 in March, 40 in April. I gave away 10 each month to my niece who was fighting breast cancer, 10 to my sister who takes care of my father who has dementia. The remaining 20 I put in my freezer. I make them the last week of the month. So I was inventorying my freezer and preparing my shopping list. I was surprised to find I only have two meals left. 
And that means that you fed my family most nights in the past two months. You are blessing my life. You make it so easy for me to do this. Thank you. Jan, thank you for emailing that to me. Like, I feel like you are amazing. The fact that you're making this many meals and helping your family in this way, like how wonderful. So thank you. Let's move on to recipe number three. Moving right along. I'm going to move these over. Number three is our Southwest rice and bean soup. Now this recipe is brand new. <laughs> no one has made this before because hello, I just made it up. <laughs> Whenever I had, so like I said, I shopped at Sam's Club, I bought everything in bulk and I said, well, I have three more cans of black beans. What am I going to do with it? And I started thinking and then I thought, okay, well, what else do I have left over from Sam's Club? Because you know, I'm using all those ingredients. You're going to see people on Pinterest. You're going to see people on Facebook saying, you can go to Sam's Club and make these meals. And guess what? They're the same meals you can make from any grocery store. And if you buy the stuff at Sam's Club, you're going to have so much leftover ingredients. <laughs> There's no point in that. That's not my point. I'm going to show you how to use all of them. So I had diced tomatoes, canned black beans. We have two cans of diced tomatoes left and I'll give you some ideas how to use those up. But I also wanted to use my red pepper. So I showed you that bag of six peppers, the red, the orange, and the yellow. I pre-diced one of each color. We're putting those in here. This is kind of like that last recipe that I thought in my head, okay, how can I use every single thing that I bought, make the most of it, and still have like a really delicious meal? So what I love about this, it's vegetarian. If you want meat, if you're like, no, my family is huge meat eaters, they don't want a vegetarian meal, then you could add ground beef. It'd be kind of, maybe kind of like chili, but even healthier because there's some veggies in there. That would be fine. Um, otherwise, it's a really great vegetarian meal. And if you use vegetable broth, I think the recipe calls for chicken broth, but if you use vegetable, it would even be vegan. Everybody can eat this meal, right? So we have our peppers. We need green peppers. Again, I bought that bag of six. I already washed these and I'm going to dice them for you. Let's just clean up as we go. I love making these meals because not only are you prepping ahead of time and saving time for not having to cook later, like you're only making a mess one time. I only have to wash this cutting board once, my knife once. It's like one time and done. It saves you so much time. It's so great. Love that. It's like such a time saver. Okay, so we have our green pepper that I'm going to dice and put into this soup. You're going to love this one. And let's talk about cost. Now, I know a lot of people love Sam's Club because you can save money buying in bulk. Hello. Yes, I love it. That's why I belong there. I also belong to Costco. <laughs> I have five kids. I buy a lot of groceries. I shop a lot of places. But I love um, that you can save money at Sam's Club. And when I bought the ingredients to make these meals, I spent $116 total. That was on all my ingredients. That works out to $9.67 per meal. Each meal has four to six servings. I did the math. <laughs> I am a numbers nerd. Any other numbers people out there? Anyone else love a spreadsheet? Keep a budget. <laughs> okay, so $1.93 per serving. Like that is such a good deal, right? Oh my gosh, I bought, so we ordered, <laughs> I'm like embarrassed to tell you this. Okay, so we ordered lunch because I was, teaching this class today. My husband records the class. We have five kids at home who are being like bribed so heavily <laughs> to be good and quiet while we're teaching this class. It is never, ever quiet like this in my house. So we have five kids ages. The oldest is 11. They're 11, 9, 7, 5, and 3. So they're being so good and quiet. Anyway, the point was I ordered lunch Oh my gosh, it was probably like almost $70 just for lunch. Like, what the heck? <laughs> that is not good for your budget. Granted, I was paying for delivery. I gave a nice tip. And 
you know what? Sometimes you got to get through the work day or like just treat everyone. So we had to do that. But oh my gosh, these were only $116 for all of these meals. You can bet we're going to be eating one of these for dinner tonight and we'll be eating them tomorrow. <laughs> and just really, it helps save so much money. When we are planning ahead, I can find, I can easily save like $200 a month, probably more when I'm being very diligent at shopping at Sam's Club. I do find that I save a lot of money when I am buying at bulk, in bulk. Anyone else like just always working on the grocery budget, like always trying to cut money, save money. I feel like that never ends, right? It's like, especially with five kids, you always are always trying to find ways to get creative and, and save money, but not at the expense of eating healthy, food. I care a lot about using healthy ingredients and making food that tastes delicious. Like you're not going to want to make these meals again if they don't taste great. Like taste is the most important, I think, in terms of like sticking with something. So if you're sticking to a diet or sticking to a method, like my method of freezer cooking, it has to taste good. I should point out that these meals probably will work with any diet. I point out that this one was a vegetarian. Most of my meals are naturally gluten-free dairy-free, there's a lot of keto, paleo, Whole30. My membership site, you can like actually search by different diets. I can show you how that works. But so these should work for most people. I mean, that's really important to me that you can find recipes that work for you or that you can really easily adapt them. So I think that you should be able to do that um, as well, especially like gluten-free. Sometimes you might have to like make a substitution but it's pretty easy to do when the recipes are like focused on healthy whole ingredients and like spices and sauce and stuff. Okay, we are adding our green pepper. You can see why I had to dice them ahead of time, right? <laughs> I'm not being perfect here in this dicing. I do not, no perfection required. It's fine with eyeballing, just do your best. I think that's one of the things that helps me make meals quickly is I never stress, they're never cut evenly. The crock pot and the instant pot are so forgiving, but it does take time to cut fresh veggies. Luckily, I feel very good when we are eating these veggies. The only other big ingredient or the only other vegetable I'm adding is the corn. So we're gonna use our last four ears of corn. Although my seven-year-old loves corn. She's not a huge like <clears throat> vegetable person, but she does love corn. So she probably would have been willing to eat this even if I didn't include it in a recipe, but I can buy her some more corn at the store. I wanna use all these ingredients. Just think this corn looks so good. It tastes great in the recipe too. You can freeze all of this raw. Like I think you can see by now, everything I'm adding to these bags is raw. Yes, it's raw. You're gonna email me, I already know, I already know it. Somebody here is gonna email, really even the ground beef? Kelly, you're, you're freezing ground beef and then you're gonna cook it in your crock pot or your instant pot? Yes! <laughs> I know what people are going to say because I've talked to so many people over the years. So I'm like reading your mind, right? I know, I know your questions and your objections and I'm hopefully just answering your questions as we go. So that what you are excited to make these like so confident and just like ready, knowing that you have this way to save time save money, help, eat healthy. Making a little bit of a mess with this, but like I said, I only have to clean up once. It's so quick, so I won't make you watch me clean up during class. I'll do it after. But I can add pretty much everything to my dishwasher. It's like a knife, uh, a cutting board, uh, a couple measuring measuring cups or bowls. You don't even have to use the bowls. I use the bowls because I cut the peppers ahead of time. Cleanup is really, really quick. And I want to show you this really cool idea I came up with for this recipe. I'm excited about this. Okay, when I have made soup in the past, like especially vegetarian soup, I like to add rice. I just think it adds like a little bit of like heartiness to the soup. So typically I would add a quarter cup of dry wild rice, uncooked. Like literally you take your fourth of a cup, you dump it in. You can do that. If you have some brown rice, wild rice in your pantry, just, you could do that for these meals. But, okay, I found these at Sam's Club. These packed Seeds of Change organic quinoa 
and brown rice with garlic. And I thought, hmm, could I just put that in the bag instead? Because you can buy rice at Sands Club, but you're gonna buy like a 10 pound bag. And I'm certainly not using 10 pounds in these meals. And I just, we're kind of picky. We really have this like specific rice that we like to use in our rice cooker. So I just like, it was one of those things I was sitting in the, or like standing in that aisle where they have rice for a while thinking about what would be best in this meal. So I ended up choosing this brown, uh, king one brown rice mix. It's so good. So we obviously taste tested this already. My parents had it. My grandma even tried it. My mom texted me. She's like, what was that mix? Was that quinoa? Was that rice? Like, what did you put in there? She really liked it. I was like, it was one of those packets. Like I dumped it in and it's so good. So you can do that. Um, we do have, this was a pack of six from Sam's Club. So we'll have three extras just to use as side dishes. Like this would be so good with that barbecue of the sweet and sour chicken. This would be a great side dish and you already have it. Just warm it up in the microwave. Okay. Our seasonings. Now this is another great seasoning mix. I really pride myself on my seasonings because I want them to be flavorful and delicious. And I measure these ahead of time. Two tablespoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of cumin, one, uh, one teaspoon onion powder, half teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon oregano, half teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon pepper. Really flavorful, very good. This is all in your recipe. I absolutely will not quiz you about all this. I wouldn't even know. I couldn't even be quizzed too much. Okay. And then the, I'm going to wait to add the broth until the day of cooking. And that's in your directions. It's in your label if someone else is making it, but it's just going to make it easier to dump this into your slow cooker or your instant pot when it's completely frozen. Cause you don't have that like big block of broth. And it also will help in your instant pot, help it reach pressure without burning. So I'm just gonna wait to add it until the day of cooking. Let's move these over and do our fourth recipe, our final three meals, which, oh, I'm excited about this one. You're gonna love it. Okay, the fourth one is sausage stuffed mini peppers. I love, oh wait, I forgot a couple stories. This is still, this is in the line of this recipe, but I wanna tell you some more stories. Dallas Wedding Photography messaged me, hey Kelly, I've been a fan of freezer meals for years, but I don't do it consistently enough because it's not easy to find recipes. Well, no more. I am so happy I discovered Freezer Meal Pro and you. This afternoon I made 12 freezer meals. My grocery pickup was only $160 and it only took about an hour and a half to assemble, to assemble them with the help of my three-year-old. Just wanted to say how much I love it. Thank you. That's I love this story. Thanks uh, Dallas Wedding Photography for sending that to me. That's a really good deal, $160. Good job. And Teresa, I became a member of Freezer Meal Pro after watching one of your videos. I hate cooking, I wasn't good at it, but now I make stress-free dinners that my family loves. Plus, I just spent $127 yesterday for eight or nine meals, which is a huge savings for us, and there's no food waste. I have thrown away so much food that I bought to make a recipe and didn't get the chance, and it went bad or had so much left over and no one ate it. Isn't that the worst? <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. I'm glad that she like pointed this out. I'm glad that it's working for her and saving her money. Um, I hate that. I like hate when you buy something and either goes bad or goes to waste or you make something and it doesn't taste good and you have to throw the whole meal away, order pizza or something. That's just, that's just like so disappointing and like heart crushing. Let's do our last meal, which is the sausage stuffed mini sweet peppers. Last recipe, four meals. This is a good one. This would be great to share or you might wanna keep them all for yourself. <laughs> They're really good. Uh, these were inspired by these little mini sweet peppers at Sam's Club, so tasty. This is one of my most popular recipes. People love this because it is so good in the oven. It is so good in the crock pot. <laughs> you can make it in the instant pot. I tested it. I just tested it again recently to make sure that I had the cooking time perfect for you. And you absolutely can make it in there. Um, you know what I haven't pointed out? Is anyone wondering about these? I have to show you. Okay. These are family freezer branded baggy stands and reusable freezer bags. Like what? Woo. <laughs> we have these. I can't tell you how many bags and stands I have tested over the years, like years and years, hundreds of dollars. I've bought them all, I have tested them. 
eventually was like, you know what, I'm making my own. And they're gonna be beautiful and white and they're gonna showcase the food. These are not available yet. Probably within the next month, we're gonna be selling them. I will send an email when they're available. If you cannot wait, there's already a link in the recipes to other brands that I have tested and I would still recommend. Obviously, I think ours are the best. Like that's why we created them. But if you can't wait, I got it. Buy some and then maybe buy some more later. But these um, bags are great. They don't rip, they don't tear, they don't get stuck together. You could just wash them and reuse them. I put the sauce in here. So now what I need to do is stuff the peppers. What I did ahead of time was I washed them and I cleaned them out. I just like cut all the tops off and then kind of pulled out. There weren't a lot of seeds and you don't have to stress. There's like two tiny seeds in there. You can't see that, but it's okay if there's a couple of seeds left, but you just kind of pull out the main part and then I'm gonna stuff these with sausage. I'm gonna do that now, which means I'm like transitioning to getting the meat out because all the other work is done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of my fridge and I just waited to do this until the end so that the meat wouldn't have to sit at room temperature for very long before going back into the freezer. Let me dump this in here. If you use reusable bags, you might be worried about staining. I've had some people ask me, what do you do if they stain? So my bags don't stain all the time. If they do, a really good tip is to put them outside in the sunshine. Like the sun will take stains out of anything, right? So do you just wash your bags? I hand wash them. They, they can't go in the dishwasher. You, if you're making one meal, it's like you take, you dump your meal into your crock pot or instant pot. You take it over to the sink. You do a quick wash in warm water with soap takes 30 seconds maybe, and then let it dry. And you can turn it inside out, let it dry. You can let it dry outside, take care of any stains. Or you know what, if it has a stain, maybe that's just like your spaghetti sauce stain that you use every time you make a meal with tomatoes in it. Like that really doesn't bother me. That's totally fine. Let's put the sausage in these peppers. This is the recipe that you can make in your oven. It's so good in the oven. And I'm just gonna eyeball these. I'm just putting sausage in the peppers and then I'm just gonna add them to the bags. I have a total of two bags or three pounds of peppers. I'm going to just split them between the three meals. If you are cooking for less people, now these recipes have four to six servings. I think two of them have six servings, the other ones have two. If you are cooking for less people, let's say you're just cooking for yourself or one other person, my first choice would be for you to just make them as is and just eat the leftovers for lunch the next day. Or maybe eat them for dinner the next day and you don't have to cook again. Like that, <laughs> I totally suggest that. I think that's great. And it's so nice to have a pre-made lunch that you don't have to cook but, or have to like eat out or anything else, like have a hot meal for lunch the next day. If you don't wanna do that, what it's really simple. Just make the same meals, but split each recipe. Instead of doing one gallon size freezer bag, you could do two quart size freezer bags, or maybe it's one gallon size, but it's not as full. It just depends on the recipe and how much food is in it. But you can, it's a really, really easy way to split this into less servings and then you cook it in a smaller crock pot. So if you were gonna cook these in the crock pot, I would use a smaller one, like two to four quarts, I would say, it would be perfect. There was a time I was making freezer meals for my grandparents. They lived at home alone and I made them 20 freezer meals. I just took 10 recipes. I split them into two bags each. I think I gave them 10 and kept like 10 in my extra freezer and brought them like the next month or two, but and then just cook them in a smaller slow cooker. I tested, I think I bought two or three different slow cookers to test them out. It's like that, like scientists in me that only wants to use the best and like see what, see what works. But same cooking time, just a smaller appliance. Okay, when, how you cook these is you just cook them like this. You put them in your slow cooker or your oven and then, or your uh, Instant Pot. And then right when they're finished cooking, you add some mozzarella cheese, which just makes them like really, really tasty. We normally serve them with spaghetti. My husband and I really like zucchini noodles, like the spiralized zucchini. So I'll make those on the side too, just as an extra way for us to eat some vegetables. Kind of eyeballing when to start putting these in my second bag. I think it's time now. 
but this is a really good meal very family friendly everyone loves this i think my mom made this she might have been like the inspiration for this meal and she said she made it when she had people coming over just like baked it in the oven and everyone really really loved it but yeah you just add the cheese at the end if you want if you are cooking gluten-free make sure there's no gluten in the spaghetti sauce and in the um sausage I have, this is one of those recipes that is on my member site and Cynthia left a comment. She said, absolutely delicious. My hub, husband even took leftovers in his lunch and loved it as well. This is definitely added to our favorites. So Cynthia liked it. There was another comment by Brianna. She said, this was amazing. An incredibly delicious meal we served over veggie spaghetti. I will definitely make it again. So Brianna agrees. Great meal. I love sharing stories with you so you can see just like how other people are using these meals, how they're working for them. Whenever I'm done with these, I will be sealing them and putting them in our freezer. If you don't have, we have an extra, well, <laughs> so we have an extra refrigerator freezer in our garage and we have a deep freezer because I mean when you have a freezer cooking business <laughs> you need all the storage although I'll tell you they are frequently empty people think that I must have so many meals when in reality we eat them <laughs> like we're so thankful to have meals at the ready that we just like just keep eating them and eating them as quick as I make them they're gone but these are good for up to three months if you need to make extra space in your freezer if you're running low on space I had someone email me it was yesterday I answered an email that someone said I don't have a lot of space what would you recommend and my first tip is always clean out your freezer get rid of anything old get rid of anything expired if you need to make more space maybe you need to um, like have a week or two weeks where you just eat everything from the freezer make a meal plan look in your freezer see what's in there and think about how you can like plan that into your dinners for the next week just to make more space and then these meals don't take up a lot of space because they are in bags, they can be stacked. And so you can fit, you can easily fit six, definitely six in a regular freezer. Like I want you to have space for at least six of these in, a, in your regular fridge freezer. Whenever I was pregnant, I think it was my third daughter when I made 28 freezer meals and we had our extra fridge freezer in our basement and I fit all 28 meals. Now there was, I think that's what, that was the entire freezer. <laughs> that was the whole thing, but I was planning while I was pregnant. So I just put them all in there and they all fit. And there were some casserole dishes. I think I had made chicken pot pie. I mean, there were some bigger, bigger meals in there too and they all fit. So don't let space hold you back from making these meals. Even if you're making smaller quantities or maybe if you're making this many but then you have someone who you really want to share with that's a that's a good reason to do it okay almost done trying to work quickly here to get all these pepper soft and then I'm going to add so I have I bought organic ground beef it was grass-fed 85% lean ground beef for the Tex-Mex beef and cabbage. That is, that was one of my favorite finds at Sam's Club. So I'm definitely using that for my beef and cabbage. And then I bought, okay, so I planned the crock pot barbecued sweet and sour chicken with ground chicken because the ground chicken at Sam's Club was so good. And then I went back to Sam's Club again because I had to buy the ingredients for this class and they were all out. <laughs> Like, of course, right? When I go back to shop for the class, they didn't have any more. But maybe everyone else thought it looked good, too. So I just bought ground turkey. I'm just going to do ground turkey today. Like I said, you could do Sam's Club. Or Sam's Club. Oh, too many meals, right? All right, I have a little bit of sausage left over. So I'm just going to put some in each bag and let it cook. It can cook in the Instant Pot, in the crock pot, kind of like a meatball. Like, I'm just going to mix it. It'll make the sauce really flavorful. So I don't want anything to go to waste. Let's move this over to the trash. And I'm gonna add the meat to those other meals. Ooh, which one should I do next? I'll do that turkey. 
Like I said, I'm doing turkey just because that's what I found at the store. It'll still be great. I know it will be. And you could also do chicken breasts, shred or slice it after cooking. Um, or you could also do meatballs, salmon. It'll all be really great in the barbecue. Okay, it's over there. I think I'm just gonna walk over and add this just because I don't want to touch anything. Okay, what I like about adding the meat at the end is you don't have to worry about cross-contamination. I'm touching the meat one time, my cutting board touches the meat one time. If I was cutting anything, the knife would only touch it one time. Now we have ground beef. Let's see. Just saving time with cleaning and only having to like, like I said, wash my hands and the cutting board and knife one time. All right, these are all over there too. Okay. Bear with me while I wash my hands. The only thing left is to seal up these bags and put them in the freezer. Now, I hope at this point you have like, <laughs> have you seen like how these meals, how quickly they came together, how easy they were to make, right? And just like, I hope that you're having that light bulb moment. You're like, these are going to work for me. Like, yes, I totally get it. This, this crazy lady is right. <laughs> Maybe you're texting your daughter, your sister, your best friend. And you're like, you are not going to believe this. Like, we need to go shopping at Sam's Club and make these meals ASAP. I'll tell you a little bit about how I am sealing these bags. Now you do not need any kind of like vacuum sealer. It's totally fine, just do it by hand. I'm sealing it so there's like two inches left. Then I kind of squish and push the air out, seal it the rest of the way, and then flatten it. And that's why I stack it in the freezer. Seems a little messy in the top. There we go. Squeeze the air out. I actually have a vacuum sealer and I've used it in the past, but it doesn't work great for meals that have liquid in them. And I do love like liquid and sauce in my meals. I try and make them one pot meals when I can. Every recipe that I've written for you in this group of meals has suggested side dishes. I tell you exactly what I would eat with these. So the sausage, the peppers say, spaghetti or zucchini noodles, for example. The barbecue sweet and sour chicken says rice. I think the, the Tex-Mex also says rice. We like to put like shredded cheese on top. I included that. That's even in your shopping list. <laughs> Everything you need for cooking, for the day of cooking too, is included there so that you know exactly what you need. I'm gonna start adding some of these to my freezer. Luckily we have space here. Since I was teaching this class, we made room. <laughs> there was a time, oh my gosh, I taught a class and there was not nearly enough room in my freezer. <laughs> I was like scrambling at the last minute trying to put them in my fridge <laughs> and just like find somewhere to put them until I could move them to the deep freezer in my garage. 
that's all 12 meals. Now, I want to quickly show you how my membership site works. I'm going to do a demo of how to cook these. And I know a lot of people here today are members, but if not, I know you're going to be excited about these. And if you want to join, this membership site is one of a kind. So I just quickly have to grab my other mic, grab my computer so I can show you how it works. This is Family Freezer VIP. <laughs> you can log in to see all of my recipes that can be frozen raw. And the great thing is 12 new recipes are added every month and you can see them here. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Uh, let's go into an individual recipe so I can show you how they look. Let's go in here and you'll be able to see uh, again the little photo and then the ingredients these are all really simple simple recipes that tell you exactly how to freeze them later and then how to cook them this is a crock pot and a, or a grill recipe i have a bunch of instant pot uh, a lot of crock pot mostly but also air fryer we're adding and uh, so many options full nutritional info and a note section if you make the recipe and want to make a note for next time i want to show you one of my favorite features of vip and that is our search oh my gosh okay so we have predefined filters. So those are these little circle icons where I could look at all the crock pot recipes or the instant pot, chicken, beef, vegetarian, gluten-free, just these really quick predefined filters. You can also do keyword. So let's say I have a red pepper that I bought at the grocery store, or maybe my family really loves red peppers. You could type that in and then go ahead and see all the recipes that would feature red peppers. But the best search is our advanced search. This is it right here. I'll go back to the homepage so you can see when you're on the homepage where you would find it. It's this advanced search and filter. And if you click on it, you can filter by diet, dairy-free, diabetic, gluten-free, ketogenic, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, whole food, which is like Whole30. We have my cookbooks, if you're familiar with them. We have cooking method. We're, like I said, we're just starting to add air fryer. We have tons of crock pot. We have grill, instant pot, oven, and stove top. Those are those 15 minute meals when you're really short on time. Protein, beef, chicken, lamb, that's new. Pork, seafood, we're adding more seafood, turkey, vegetarian. And cuisine, American, Asian, Caribbean, Indian, Italian, Mediterranean, Mexican, Middle Eastern, North African, so many options. You could eat this every night of the week. And online classes. So if you've attended my classes or even this class and you want to see where the recipes are and make a new shopping list, you could do that here. And maybe the coolest thing is that you can you can combine these filters. <laughs> Whoa, okay, so let's say we want a gluten-free recipe that can be cooked in the crock pot and features chicken. You can combine those and then search and find like the perfect recipe that you know your family is going to love. So let me show you some other features that I like. One of them are these recipe collections. Now, these are groups of recipes. I think of them as my, maybe like my recipe playlists. And everyone gets this favorite, favorite recipes collection when they join. These are ones that I've created. So I created a summer seasonal one, some that I make when chicken is on sale, when ground beef is on sale. I did a vegetarian Indian one for my very best friends and meals to make next month. So these are my next group of meals to make. I'll show you how it works in here. You have the recipes, you can adjust the servings if necessary, you could do more or less. And then you can, this is where you would access a shopping list. So after I pick all my meals for next month, I'm just hitting this shopping list and it auto generates like seriously one second, the full shopping list organized by section of the grocery store, everything that I need. And if that wasn't enough, you can edit it. So let's say I'm going to make chocolate chip pancakes for my kids next month. It's like, okay, let's put chocolate chips on there or let's scroll down. I'm going to show you exactly how I use this. I would even add a group. So let's say we add household items because I like to have one shopping list. I wanted to go to the grocery store one time and buy one thing. So let's get our tissues 
and add an item. Let's get toilet paper. <laughs> And then I won't forget anything at the store. So I just go back to the top and I can stop editing this. I can save it. So then if I come back on here tomorrow, next week, next month on my phone, whatever it is that is saved. And I will show you how to print it. So you can go ahead and print the shopping list. It has all the recipes, items. You could be crossing off items here or on the previous screen. But if you have some of these on hand and you don't need them, you can cross those off. And you can also print the recipes because you're gonna need to know what you're making. These are really printer friendly and they even include the label. You can cut here, it says cut label here. This would print on a separate piece of paper and you could just tape this on your freezer bag but it would tell you exactly what's in the bag and then how to cook it. So let's go back to the main page so I can just show you a couple things. This is your account section. It has your account info and it has all my ebook downloads. You get free access to all of those and save the best for last family freezer TV because this is a full class library. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> All of my classes that I've taught, these are videos that you can watch on demand anytime you want. And if you click inside, you will be able to watch the video here. This is where you can play it. And it has a list of the recipes, even a link directly to the recipes. No checking your email, it's right here. It has all the recipes and the full shopping list and the printable labels and literally everything you need at your fingertips. Like, <laughs> amazing, right? If you haven't joined yet, go to thefamilyfreezer.com slash VIP, thefamilyfreezer.com slash VIP, because this is where you can join for $97 for one full year. <laughs> That's right. This is a $97 sign-up fee that is good for one full year. You're gonna use this over and over and over again to make freezer meals this year. I mean, how many times would you even have to make them this year to make it worth it? Like maybe once or twice. I mean, it, I find I'm saving so much money with these freezer meals. So you can scroll down and learn more about VIP. This has a lot of the features I pointed out during our demo. We have new recipes every single month, a full class library, recipe filters, all the labels, read more about what our members love about the site. We have so many members and there's this different things that stand out to them, different stores they shop at. They're making meals for their children, their grandchildren, um, people at their church. They're on different diets. So read about their stories, our 12 brand new healthy recipes every single month, our exclusive VIP features, what you're going to love about it, Family Freezer TV, love all the class recordings, and our ebooks, downloads, printables. This is all included in your membership. I try to answer every single question you could possibly have. Let's click join now. And you will see, again, a sign-up fee, $97, good for the entire first year. After that, you pay $49 a year. Now see, it says cancel anytime. I showed you in my account. You could go to my account info. You can really easy, easily cancel. We want to make it easy for you. However, we hope you love the site. We hope you use it over and over and over again to make freezer meals like I do, and it just changes your life. So I did the math. $97 works out to only $8.08 .08 per month. <laughs> so this is really a great deal. $49 a month, I think is less than $5, like $4 something per, per month. So it's really want to make this affordable so that people can make these freezer meals. To thank you for attending my class today, I have a coupon code for you. <laughs> Woohoo! Enter code Sam's Club. So we enter Sam's Club because we love saving money and you can save 20%, bringing the total down to $77.60. That means that first year is a savings and it works out to only $6.47 per month. You cannot beat that. If you joined earlier and paid 97, don't feel bad about it. You are saving so much money at the store, like feel great that you jumped on it. If you have to wait till next month, again, don't feel bad, it's a great deal because the coupon code is good for two days only. If you know you're gonna join, 
join today or tomorrow, use code Sam's club, save 20% join for the 7760. I know someone's going to email me next week. People are always saying, do you have any sales? Do you have any coupon codes? Unfortunately, no, we only offer them during our classes. This is your chance. Two days only Sam's club, save 20%. Let's go to our cart. And I'll just show you, this is where you actually check out, but I want to point out your email address, double check it, make sure it's correct. Cause I'm going to send you some really good tips about using the site and then your account username and password. You can log in today. So write these down your username and password. You don't want to forget those. Cause that's what you're going to use to enter the site and use it over and over and over again to make these freezer meals. All right, let's do our cooking demo. I want to show you how you are going to follow through cooking these meals in your crock pot or instant pot. Let's imagine, we'll start with our crock pot. Let's imagine it's morning, you're really busy, you have a lot going on. You think, oh my gosh, what am I going to make for dinner? Here is our crock pot or instant pot Southwest rice and bean soup. If this is completely frozen, you might need to run it under water for a minute just so it doesn't stick to the bags. If it's a completely frozen block, it might need to go under the water a little bit longer so you can at least break it apart. If you want to thaw overnight in your refrigerator, that'd be even better because then it's going to be totally thawed. It's just <laughs> you have to plan ahead and I can't always do that. We take this, we dump it frozen into the crock pot. We add, here's our directions, add four cups of chicken broth. You could use vegetable broth if you want to make it totally vegetarian or vegan. Dump in our broth, which I also bought at Sam's Club for that $116. I already have that in my pantry. You seal this. Now mine has a programmable cooking time. I would select low. This says four to six hours. I would do six hours. And after six hours, this will go to warm. It's fine if it's this on warm for another six hours. That's fine. I don't want you to overcook this meal. If you've had dry chicken, burned chicken, bad meals in the past, it's because you're cooking them too long. Please stop. <laughs> Decrease the cooking time or buy one of these programmable ones. I think this costs $40 on Amazon. Totally worth it for that programmable timer. And then at the end of the day, you just open this up. You have the most delicious dinner waiting for you, stress-free. You are probably like relaxed all day and like high-fiving yourself like I got my act together. <laughs> Maybe telling some friends, oh, I'm good. I have dinner in my crock pot tonight. Your whole house is going to smell so good. If you want to make it in the Instant Pot, I also have the directions on your label in your recipe. Very, very simple. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here. And if I can do it backward, <laughs> upside down. You would just take off the lid. You dump this in and then the first thing you're going to do is saute it. Now you press saute for five minutes. This is in your directions, but that lets a little bit of the liquid out. Then you flip the meal so that nothing burns, nothing sticks. You add your broth, all 32 ounces. You put the lid on, you put it on ceiling. You set the time for 15 minutes. This is just pressure cook. I use pressure cook so that no matter what model you have, this isn't even the newest model of Instant Pot, but whatever model you have, it'll work. Pressure cook 15 minutes, and then I do a natural release because I think it makes the whole meal like tender, delicious, really juicy, if, especially if you have a meat in the dish. And that's it. Once the, the pressure is done, you would open it up. Dinner is done. I have just a couple final shout outs to people who have messaged me. Cheryl said, hey, I'm a member. I love this plan. I just had chicken fajitas from the freezer and they were delicious. It really makes the day easier to have a nice meal ready to make. Thanks, Cheryl. Carrie said, our family loves Freezer Meal Pro. The recipes have been yummy and easy. I love having meals in the freezer ready to go. Thank you for such a great membership. Thank you, Carrie. Thanks for telling me that. And Mary said, I can't thank the family freezer enough for helping me make meal planning so much easier. I just did 12 freezer meals a few days ago for this month. I'm going to buy a small deep freezer so I can have more freezer meals prepped at once. My family of five with three boys loves them. So thank you, Mary. So glad these meals are working for you, right? Yay. If you have any questions, send me an email. I told you I'm going to send you these recipes right after class. Give me a couple minutes to send them, <laughs> but then reply to the email. I will answer your questions, share your success stories. I love hearing from you. It really encourages me to keep going 
And thank you for coming today. Thank you for watching this show. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that I did, and I am appreciative that you took that time out of your day. So thanks so much, and I'll see you later.